it's your girl Karina here and happy blessed Thursday! So today is an awesome day even though it's like super cloudy today. I don't care because it's another day to live and to glorify God's name and to use all of your gifts, talents, and skills to glorify God's name in all that you have been called to do. So that is why I'm thank you. I'm thanking you <laughs> for tuning in to another video today and I'm really excited to really present you guys this song because it's an oldie but a goodie and it just takes you back to my childhood years and I love how this morning I was point blank again in terms of what song I'm saying and then it just came to me and I was like oh lord thank you like honestly that was just like out of nowhere and yeah I, the way I feel the lyrics now is just like God's always watching over no matter how how many times we fall, no matter how many times we find ourselves and then we fall again, like he's always there. And I just love how there's always that, it talks about how there's always that voice in your, inside of you that always tells you they can't do it and that insecurity, right? But then God is the one that really sheds a light on your capable capabilities to do anything that God calls you to. And so that's why I love about this song now. Like I listened to this so many times and I was like a youngster. <laughs> Now that I'm like older, it just seems like, whoa. <laughs> like the way you interpret the song back then is like completely different to how like you feel the song now with a different perspective. And so that's why when you allow yourself to see things around you through the lens of Christ, like even songs and everything that you go through in your life, you will see it with a different view. And that's why I always like to emphasize that all the time to strive every day to keep your eyes fixed on Christ so that you'll be able to see your life through his eyes and you'll be able to see so much potential that you can actually accomplish every single day. And so that is why we have to keep on looking up to Christ in all of our times of difficulty, suffering, and trial and tribulations because yes, it is tough. Like it's not easy living as a Christian Catholic nowadays, especially with the persecution that's surrounding us every single day that we're going through. But regardless of that, we should not be afraid. We should be true warriors, true gladiators of Christ and knowing that we are good we have the divine power within each and every one of our hearts as long as we stand firm together so honestly that's why i love how christ really led me to rename this youtube channel as a whole to stand firm worship because it's basically what we're supposed to be doing as true disciples and true warriors of christ is stand firm in christ so i just love that name so much now and i'm grateful to god that he really led me to change the name because i've been looking for a name for the longest time throughout this whole pandemic era and out of nowhere it just came to me and i was like this is the one like this is the one like i just know it's the one so that's why when it comes to following the way of christ and the way of god when you feel that sense of peace in your heart following every step of that journey you know that it's part of god's plan and so that's why keep on praying for whatever you're praying for in your life and don't ever despair or give up when times are not falling into your time you know every, keep on reminding yourself my friends to that it's according to god's time end of story like no matter what you're praying for and you feel that it's right it's the right pathway for you just know that it's according to god's time that you will be experiencing that plan that God has truly prepared for you, right? So that is why being a true warrior of Christ, being a true God of Christ, being a true disciple of Christ is a calling that we each are called to do every day and for us to not become doubtful or fearful of what's to come next because we got Christ, we got our blessed mother, we got God, so what is there to fear? Like no matter how much persecution we'll be facing, the end rewards of heaven are beyond our own expectation really so that's why eternal happiness that is something that we have to keep on striving for and to keep on longing for and always wanting and it's our eternal salvation that we need to keep on thinking about not earthly salvation that's not what we should be seeking for so that is why we should not care about what other people think when you do your ministry of Christ. Otherwise, if you begin that journey of thinking and, pray and pleasing what people think, then you are setting yourself up for de destruction because it will just keep on making you wanting more and more and more. So my friends, stay strong, stay firm. As I always love to say in all my videos, don't be afraid to be true words of Christ. Bye. <laughs>
Watching 